Oh hey, so this is the start of a new project. I'm always starting new projects. Um, I'll get right into it. This is a space game. You are in space right now, inside of a ship that you can walk around. Um, I'm not going to. All of this is very placeholder. This is very much me making something very basic in Blender. So <laughs> very much not a case of me. Uh, flexing at all. The, the best looking bits are those rocks in the background, which are supposed to be asteroids, but they're actually clouds that have blown up from a low, mold, uh, low poly model pack. Um, but yeah, I'll just get right into it. So the main point of this game is that you fly around in ships and you can walk around inside those ships. Um, so we can see on the left side, that was the interior physics of the ship. Um, but I... There we go. Put a spin on it. Leave the control stick going. You can still walk around inside the ship. You kind of need some uh, rigid bodies in here to really show off. Um, but yeah, you can still jump and everything stays the same. The physics of the interior of the ship is separate from the ship itself. Which is obviously not physically accurate, but uh, it means that we can actually go leave the ship flying, have it be moving around. Ugh, let's stop it. Um, <laughs> And the interiors of the ships don't go kind of kind of haywire. So we can see over here there's like a large, this is supposed to be a generic docking bay for some very large space station. Um, there's another little ship there and a bigger ship over there. So before I fly into this, let's have a look at the interior of the docking bay. You can see the shuttle at, can't click on these things. You can see the outside of the docking bay, the inner collider, and then we've got the little shuttle down there. So if we take, there we go. If we take the ship I'm currently in, fly it in, hey, now this ship is a part of the docking bay's physics. If I land, if I land you hit the bottom, you can hit the ceiling. Yeah, so if I land, um, if I zoom in here, you can see that the, the physics looks different. Oh, I just opened the door. Um, but there's no, I'm not in here. So this is actually, this ship collider over here is the exterior collider inside this docking bay. It is not the interior. So again, this docking bay could be moving and this the interior of this ship is unaffected. So let's leave the ship. Oh, we pop out. See these amazing headlights. Um, you can see the colliders are a little bit wrong, clipping into it, but got this other ship. You can see this is much newer. I've learned much in my blenderizing. Um, and this looks slightly better. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. There you go. Um, possibly, and yeah, let me do that again, but for show the character collider whoop, it disappears. It's no longer in there. Now the character is in this tiny little shuttles collider. Alright, let's take off. Now let's fly to this larger ship. Yeah. So this larger ship is the most recent one I've done. Um, I'm not going to say it's amazing. Really, it's just a kind of a test to see if I make a larger style ship that can have a some vague sense of a docking area. Um, now let's, let's oh, no. frigate. There we go. There we go. You can see the frigate's got a bit more complex uh, collider stuff going on. Let's center that. Come back here. Now we can. Now the shuttle appears in the ships, in the frigates. You can't can't fly in yet. Well, not yet, ever. That's kind of the point. Uh, it's kind of land. This, <laughs> the shuttle really needs some landing gears. Oop. And now the character's out over here. So, yeah. There's a whole bunch of lights. Um, I am using the standard renderer because... I just want to be able to throw lights in and not have to worry about it too much. It's probably, it's excessive, it's excessive, but I'm, I'm playing around. There's a little control panel for the frigate as well. 
All right. <laughs> so what is probably a good sign, uh, Unity crashed, which I haven't seen before. I'm really hoping it's just something to do with the screen recording going on. But uh, anyway, here I am, docking back in the frigate again. Um, it'll show off. If you dock land weirdly, you can see the angles are different and then kind of just pop out at the right angle. If you jump back in, kind of reorients you. Uh, probably need something to make that transition a bit nicer, but that's the main thing was having that not be too janky, which I mean, it already, so, you know, if everything lines up, it's not janky, so it's fine. Um, so let's, let's try and fly this again. Um, so the main point here would be is that, you know, you can fly the ship, uh, you know, if I set, set it going, we should still be moving. Those, those clouds over there don't have colliders anyway. But, you know, we could be out here, ship flying, watching things go past. As you run around this very big empty ship, of which I don't know what I would put inside all of this, but, you know, could put something inside of all of it. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure if I jump back in here, you know, we could be flying. If I fly out of this, whoop, and then watch that fly away. Pretty sure the shuttle's not fast, <laughs> not fast enough to catch up with the frigate. So that that ship has, yeah, that ship has sailed. That's where that phrase comes from. Anyway, um, yeah, that would be fine out there. Uh, but yeah, that that's kind of the point. So I wanted all this complexity. Where am I? Where are the other? Oh, there it is. Uh, this could take a while. Uh, I'm just gonna stop this. Anyway. That was the main thing I wanted to show off. I kind of got this whole interaction between multiple ships going on. It's a little bit complex. I've kind of, uh, kind of got everything split into, like the interior of the, the interior of the ships. Look, box here. Got the, in actually this is the exterior of the box ship. This is the box ship itself. I call it a box ship because it's very boxy. Um, I'm going to say 0.7. Um, I've got the exterior rendered thing. I've got the, this is the main exterior collider, which is what gets put into the physics of another parent when it enters. And then we've got the actual interior, which lives over here in a separate space, just within the same scene. Um, everything's kind of spaced out. So that even though they're next to each other, they in theory shouldn't hit each other. Um, but they are only set apart by a fixed amount, so yeah. Anyway, it's a little janky. I did play around with the concept of um, using, treating these like fast moving platforms, but uh, having applying, having a thing walk around a platform that was rotating and moving uh, did prove to be very, the physics engine liked that even less than what I'm doing right now, so yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm enjoying with I'm enjoying how this is going so far. Lots of learning how to do stuff in Blender. Um, yeah. Anyway, hopefully I'll have some uh, some more interesting stuff in the next one. See ya.